Supernatural Love by Gertrude Schnackenberg My father at the dictionary stand touches the page to fully understand the lamplit answer. Tilting in his hand his slowly scanning magnifying lens, a blurry glistening circle he suspends above the word carnation. Then he bends so near his eyes are magnified and blurred, one finger on the miniature word as if he touched a single key and heard a distant, plucked, infinitesimal string. The obligation due to everything that's smaller than the universe. I bring my sewing needle close enough that I can watch my father through the needle's eye, as through a lens ground for a butterfly who peers down flower hallways toward a room shadowed and fathom as this study's gloom where as a scholar bends above a tomb to read what's buried there, he bends to pour over the Latin blossom. I am four. I spill my pins and needles on the floor, trying to stitch Beloved, X by X. My dangerous bright needle's point connects myself illiterate to this perfect text I cannot read. My father puzzles why it is my habit to identify carnations as Christ's flowers, knowing I can give no explanation but because word roots blossom in speechless messages the way the thread behind my sampler does, where, following each X, I awkward move my needle through the word whose root is love. He reads, a pink variety of clove, carnacio, the Latin, meaning flesh. As if the bud's essential oils brush Christ's fragrance through the room, the iron-fresh odor carnations have floats up to me, a drifted, secret, bitter ecstasy. The stems squeak in my scissors. Child, it's me. He turns the page to clove and reads aloud. The clove, a spice, dried from a flower bud. Then, twice as if he hasn't understood, he reads, from French for clow meaning a nail. He gazes motionless, meaning a nail. The incarnation blossoms, flesh and nail. I twist my threads like stems into a knot and smooth beloved, but my needle caught within the threads, thy blood so dearly bought. The needle strikes my finger to the bone. I lift my hand, it is myself I've sewn. The flesh laid bare, the threads of blood my own. I lift my hand and start an agony and call upon his name. Daddy! Daddy! My father's hand touches the injury as lightly as he touched the page before where incarnation bloomed from roots that bore the flowers I called Christ's when I was four.